I'm but confused anyway. as to what we were doing. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody. It's another episode. Who's that anime? We can host Stephen Colin. Uh, it's bonus time. Yeah. 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 I'm more food wolf children this week. We are, because you said it had snow in it. It did have snow in it. it and has... and you, you, you promised it, and it was there. Three so... times. Yeah. Three yeah. times that's not in it. I did promise it. Can I can I tell you something quite funny about this uh movie to me? Yeah, go on. Uh I think the first twenty five minutes is the setup. Uh-huh. Uh and the the bit that like just makes me laugh is I went to the Wikipedia page and I thought what I'll do is I'll have the Wikipedia page for the, the movie open on hand. Uh -huh. Just as I'm going through it, just to try and make sure I'm getting names right and that I'm taking the the right things from it. And uh, the first like uh, fifteen minutes of the movie is described in one sentence, and the next ten minutes of the movie is described in another sentence. Okay. Or two sentences rather. Yeah. Uh, and it's like, yep, okay. And now we got onto the rest of the movie, where there are paragraphs to talk about things. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, it's something. that's a lot happening in this movie, and nothing yeah. at all. It, yes, it's, um, it's not on the pulling diamond level though. No, it 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 does. It feels uh, it feels very much in the vein of uh, Miyazaki and Ghibli. Uh, it has that um traditional uh japanese air to it like obviously they the kind of you know significant portions of it take place um in a mountain in mountains in the countryside and old housing mm -hmm. living off the land and things like that which is quite reminiscent of uh, you know my neighbor totoro yeah and uh yeah yeah so uh i got the box here because i bought the thing Ooh. Uh, I bought it ages ago. So, uh, the director for it was uh, probably going to completely hash this name up. Uh, Mamoru Hasoda? Hosoda? Hosoda, yeah. I can't say English names half the time, so it's not because it's Japanese <laughs> name. Um, anyway, so, yeah, yeah. So he, he did uh, another movie called Summer Wars. Did. Which, which I watched first, and then I think I yeah. watched the one after this one, which is oh, uh, beast one. Is that by him or is that by uh, the boy? The boy and the beast. Boy and the beast. Yeah, that was also him. Yeah. Uh which is so. Here's here's the interesting thing. Is apparently, mm -hmm. apparently he was originally going to direct uh, Howl's Moving Castle. Oh, was he? Mm hmm. Oh, what happened? Uh, he stepped down, apparently. Oh. Uh, when was Howl's Moving Castle? 2005. So it would have taken, uh, looking at his filmography, uh, Probably would have been. It looks, although mm, mm, that's when it came out. But when did it? Oh, it says like in two thousand one. Oh, when so, you start. So after the Digimon movie. Did he do the Digimon movie? He did the Digimon movie. Digimon, digital monsters, digital digital monsters, monsters Digimon are the digital champions. champions. That's not the words for it in Japanese, I believe. I mean, I kind of hope not because it's really bad in English. Did he? Uh, but it's like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. Wait, no, that's something else, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. What was Dragon Ball's tune? It was uh, d d Dragon, d the Dragon, 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 Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. 
Yeah. Good theme song, actually. Yeah? I think. Better than Digimon. It's better than Digimon, let's be honest. Digimon. Oh, man, I used to go run home from university and watch that. I never really got into Digimon. That was great. Digimon I got into sweet. the memes. I got into the Digimon memes. Digimon memes. Yeah, you know, the ones where it's like Pokemon Evolution and then Digimon Evolution, it's like a dog and then it's a raptor and then it's a fridge with guns attached to it. Yeah, man. Oh, that just reminds me about that game that was meant to come out. The Pokemon, non-Pokemon Pokemon game with the guns. Oh. Yeah, yeah. What's it was, that? Oh, it was showcasing I think E3, not this year, but last year. Oh. Uh, on Xbox? I can't remember what it is. Just... Oh, well, E3 is done now, forever, so... What, done now, forever, ever? Mm-hmm. What? They announced it's dead. Oh, wait, was it? Well, the Microsoft showcase, wherever it was. You know, oh, the, the I summer mean, not that it, games. It, still hap- it still happened in the past, but it's not coming back next year or ever. Oh, but you still get, like, the big summer previews and stuff, right? I, I mean, maybe. I don't really know. But, Cause, yeah. Uh, I mean, that's all... Microsoft and Sony, you know, they all kind of had their big announcements at that time. They definitely typically tend to do it around those, but that was because of E3, so now just I wonder if it means they'll just talk whenever they want. Um, bit disappointing for me, honestly, because I think it's fun to watch them, but... It's like the yeah, Oscars. That's what it is. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know watch, I never watched the game... Oh, the Game Awards? The VGAs? Game... Yeah, the Oscars for games. The actual Oscars for games. Uh, the Oscars for games? Yeah. Uh, I watched it because uh, I was sick and couldn't sleep. Um, uh, and that didn't help you put yourself to sleep? It didn't. There was some cool stuff there, though. So. Yeah, Sega. Sega! Yeah, I'm excited for that. Uh, and then No Man's Sky's lot are doing a game, which I don't know if i Kind of excited by it. Uh, Light no fire. Light no fire, baby. That's not how that works. <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm trying to remember how we got on this tangent. Um. Uh, oh, we're talking about this one, maybe. Uh, sorry, that was my fault. Um, and then you did the meme, and you were like, "Oh, this rabbit turns into the thing," and then I was like, "Yep." That's that game that was announced, and then that's not a thing, and then, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Rewind. So, scratch that, reverse it. Yeah. Uh, so, this movie mm-hmm. starts off. Uh, would you, actually, just as a joke, what I'd like to do is I'd like to sum up the first half an hour of the movie, which is the first quarter of the movie. Mm-hmm. Okay. In four sentences. Okay. Four sentences? Three sentences. Oh, you got three sentences. Yep. Okay. Tokyo college student Hana uh-huh. falls in love with an enigmatic man who eventually reveals himself to be a werewolf. Yeah. They later have two children, a uh-huh. daughter named Yuki uh-huh. and a son named Ame. Uh-huh. Soon after Ame is born, their father is killed in an accident while hunting for food. Yeah, that's... Accurate. Half an hour of movie done in three sentences. Is that um, not mental? No. Not really. No? No. It's, there was a lot of building up in that, that half hour of like how they met, how oh, she sure. fell in love. I, I, totally. I, I don't Why mean like she that. Smiles I just all mean the time. It's, it's kind of funny to me that. It's just like, oh yeah, we we uh we wrote half an hour of movie. Here's the description of that in three sentences. I mean, <laughs> especially there's plenty of movies out there you can just write like a description oh, yeah. of that and that's, uh, that's true. Like space truckers. I mean, space truckers. Don't watch it. There you go. One sentence. <laughs> you ever watch space truckers? 
several times. It has big names in it. It has big name in it? Big names in it. Plural? Really? Yeah. Like, it has the guy who's who was in Game of Thrones. The kind of stern guy is he's also picked himself up from that point, and he has some other people. I don't know people's names, but there are big names in it. Um. Okay, this is the last tangent. The last tangent. Um. Charles Dance. Yeah, is Charles that Dance. You're talking about. Yeah, he's pretty big. I guess it does have uh Stephen Dorff and Dennis Hopper in it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Plural. See. They've obviously like hard on cash. Hard to a tax break. Yeah. Fuck, that <laughs> film was directed by Stuart Gordon as well. <laughs> See? They had a... It's maybe a terrible movie, but it's a terrible movie in the sense that it's just not good, but it's a sign of the times. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, let's get back to the movie. So, the, the three sentences that we summed up with. Yeah. Was that from Wikipedia or your own three sentences for it? That that was from Wikipedia because that was that was as I was going through the movie. That was uh, I was watching it for a while before I decided to do that. <laughs> and as I read the first couple of sentences, I was like, I'm 20 minutes into this, and some <laughs> of this hasn't happened. Some of this still has to happen. That's interesting. And then all of a sudden it was like, I'm now half an hour through the movie and this first sentence, this first three sentences has happened. I was like, holy crap. Because yeah. there's also then one, two, three, four, five, six paragraphs to describe the remaining hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the meat and, meat and potatoes of the movie, man. I guess that's true. So but yeah, you're right. Like it, it does talk about how they meet. She's obviously a student. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, he is in a class with her. Yes, but he isn't a a student of the university. No. He's just sneaked sneaked in to learn stuff. Mm -hmm. And she notices them. And goes, oh, I haven't seen you here before. Oh yeah, that's because I'm not here. Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, you didn't see anything. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then he came back, and she helped him. I was like, oh, that mm -hmm. class is pretty tough. With textbooks here, you can share mine. Oh, all right, and then they do the "we're not really together" type thing. But here's the book type mm -hmm. weirdness, uh, and then they start going out, and then they start talking to each other. He's a delivery person who lived the way his family died, mm -hmm. uh, mom and dad's passed, and he lived with his uncles, and then got out of. Dodge as quick as he could to come to Tokyo, which is a delivery person. He reveals himself to Hannah as the werewolf wolf man person. Which doesn't bother her at all. Yeah, it doesn't seem, well, it phased her a bit, but then she was like, ah, mm. you know what? She's alright. And then yeah. she's got, she gets called Hannah and she has a stupid smile. Uh, she'll smile at her anything, just... She will. For no reason, except to kind of like, oh yeah, that's that's sad, I'll smile. It's fine. She uh, has a knack for it. A what? A knack for it? A knack for it. A, a, a knack for it. Alright. I thought you were saying some fancy name for someone that likes to smile at shit. No, no it's, <laughs> she has a Ford, Ac uh, whatever, Acura. Akira. A Ford, a Ford, a Ford Acura. A Ford Acura. I don't know if it's a Ford Acura. Could be. I know that a car. There's a car in Acura. I don't think it's. Ford. Is it? Oh, I'm Ford. sure it's Acura car, or is it just no? Maybe it's just an Acura is the type of car. Honda Acura. Oh, Honda Acura. All right. Ah, it's fine. It's a car maker. Manufacturer. Yep. Um Yeah, so they have love. Um a bit of furry porn in it. 
I did. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, at a certain point, go. This is definitely more furry adjacent than I was expecting. Uh, you know, like I won't yuck anyone's yum. You do you, people. Uh, for me, quite surprising. It was. Since he yeah, seems to be able to turn at will. There's certainly a way they draw these wolves <laughs> when they're people. Yeah. That is a thing. That is a thing. Ah, yeah. Fine. Um. Uh, anyway, so... Then she has a kid. And she's mm -hmm. like, oh no, I can't go to the hospital. Because I don't know how they'll it's treat it. Maybe not human. Yeah. Because right? yeah. he, he wasn't able to tell his uncle and aunt. Because they surely would mm -hmm. kill him. Because... There was a divide in that like line of family, and that's probably how his mom and dad passed because mm -hmm. they, they got home. Uh, like you said, they then have a second kid. Um, and he goes, he goes shopping to get some food. He goes goes out to get some milk, as it were. Mm -hmm. uh, no returns and. She, but left the groceries at the door, so he was coming back, and then in his wallet, and then transformed to wolf, and uh, is found in the river. Death. It is a rather uh, demeaning death, because yeah. uh, he's dead in the river, and she's obviously incredibly upset. <laughs> uh, and then she watches three men take him away in a garbage bag. And throw him into the back of a rubbish truck. Yeah, yeah. Where his body is surely crushed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the art direction in that part is is kind of good. Like, so it's kind of like have like happy go lucky kind of music through most most of the start mm -hmm. until the death scene, and then it's, I think it's just heavy rain, heavy white noise. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, th there's absolute silence actually as she sees him, because I did I know that because it cuts like the audio cuts out, and yeah. I was like, oh, my speaker must have turned off, <laughs> and then and then I stood up to go and put it back on to see if it was on, and it was like, oh no, no, there she is. Yeah, yeah. So it basically cuts uh, cuts uh, the sound. Uh, so it's like in a heavy rain, rainy day. When it happens mm -hmm. and cuts to the sound, uh, cuts the sound off and sees the dead body, and then she goes down to the, the bin men as you say, is just throwing it in. He goes, "No, don't!" I... And she just kind of cuts. So they hold her off. Stuff. Yeah, and she's like, kind of stood there, like, "What's going on?" And the guy kind of backs away slowly. And then turns and runs to the the driver's <laughs> side. It's like man, yeah. yeah. Uh, and rough. then she she just falls to her knees and sobs. Mm -hmm. I think that's when the mm -hmm. sound comes back. Um, yeah, no, it's I like it. It's and I, I feel like it, you have to have the half hour because he's literally wearing it for yeah. that length to get that. You emotional. need to. You need to create that connection in order to break it. And yeah, yeah it does that uh, quite successfully. I The music is lovely throughout the whole film. I love it. It's just gorgeous. Uh, mm -hmm. And interestingly, uh, the composer, Masakatsu Tagi, Takagi, uh -huh. uh, I, I was like, I really like this music. And then I was like, I wonder um, like what other stuff they've done. Uh, so I I typed into YouTube and the name came up uh, for a, I'm pretty sure it was a Luminous 2 track. Luminous 2? Do you remember Luminous? Luminous? Was that that French animation? No, 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 no. It was uh, the puzzle, uh, audio, like audio puzzle game where you're like a grid and you've got squares in a square and they come in uh, from the top, and there's like a, a bar that goes across, like playing the music. 
and you oh. have to play down things in colors. It was always on the the Vita and the PSP. Ah, oh, yeah. Now, now it's it's actually on. Um, it's now on. Uh, uh, Luminous Remastered is on Switch. It's great. Uh, I think uh, I remember it, but I don't. I don't want to play it because I never owned those devices. I uh, love, 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 love the uh, uh, the original Luminous. It's just such a such a great um, great game. Uh, I'm just trying to see if I can find the track now. Yeah. Takagi Masakatsu Girls on the Luminous 2 soundtrack. And I played it and it was like this really pretty piano music and I was like, oh man, this, this could be the same person. I was like, I feel like I know that as well because I played a lot of all of Luminous. Uh -huh. uh, so yeah, it, the, the music resonates with me throughout the whole thing. It's all just really, really good. Uh -huh. Yeah. Girls. This is not the Beastie Boys song, Girls. Not the Beastie Boys song. Girl. That is it. A dead cert. <laughs> do, 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 girls. Do, 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 girls. Do, do. Not that. that I know. No. Not you that. know, on another tangent. Go on. <laughs> uh, it's some Japanese band. I can't. Mm -hmm. And they're doing like this kind of like. Um, thing about I think it's kind of like a song that apparently says Tokyo it's kind of getting boring type thing uh, Arigatsu or something I think they're called Arigaki what about them Arigato uh, band yeah uh, it's like um, actually what's his name Captain Dissolution actually did a cover with them, or one of their oh. other, uh, things. Oh, uh, nice. Talked about hit their videos. So it's like a bunch of um, Japanese ladies uh, in old sailor form, school uniform uh, garb. And they're kind of just kind of doing a um, uh, kaiju type of uh, uh, thing. So you know, you know how Beastie Boys did uh, Into the Galactic, and they're yeah. all like fighting the things, and it's all kind of it's kind of like that. Only they're it was just them; they're not in any suits, and they're like massive jumping around Tokyo, thing about things, and everyone's like, "Oh wow, this is amazing!" It's like a good homage to the like, uh, kaiju films, and I was like, "Ah, uh, this just reminds me of Beastie Boys." And none of the comments ever mentioned in the mind of Winter Classic. Aww. Uh Beastie Boys, twenty years in the past. Oh, it's more than that. Yeah, Hinter Galactic's older than that. Probably. I think so. Probably nineties, like. I was like say like ninety six? Ninety seven? Oh, ninety eight. Yeah. Just for a let's go. <laughs> Uh, uh anyway. I, I was gonna say pe people in the audio of this will not understand, but people in the video will see me constantly muting and choking and dying for a few seconds and then unmuting. So sorry about that, people who are watching. Yeah. Yeah. Um anyway, so that's the thing that's happened. It's so the dead dead husband or dead uh father. Don't know that they ever got married. Mm -hmm. And now, and now um, Hannah's got to look after her two kids um, uh, in this small apartment in Tokyo with uh, yeah. no uh, no pets allowed. Uh, yeah. yeah. Which is a struggle. <laughs> yeah. as she has two young kids who randomly turn into wolves. Yeah, especially when she's upset. Mm -hmm. what's, the, what's the daughter called? Uh, not Ame, but the other one, Yuki. Not, Yuki, yeah, yeah. She, uh, you get periodically. She comes into the room, opens the door, and goes, "They want food. They want food." And then she just 
turns into the wolf and then runs around the room and then springs back up into human form and goes, oh, I want food now! And so she's like, yep. no, you ain't getting any of that. And then yep. just goes to the corner and whines. She's she's basically, we are kind of go through a series of events here where there are different circumstances from noise complaints to um, child services to dot you know people coming over regarding vaccinations for the kids because they've not had any and yeah she won't let them into the property because of course she doesn't want to see them sleeping mm -hmm. or running around as wolves um so she needs yeah. to get out fast yeah. yeah and then she phoned uh yuki ends up eating a pack of silicon oh that's right silica yeah, yeah silica, silica gel yeah yeah I was like, oh, nah. and then, yeah. <laughs> so she's full, ends up just going to go to the hospital. And, but it was kind of convenient because the vet's just across the road. Oh my God. I shouldn't have laughed at that, but I totally did. <laughs> Where she's like stood at the crossroads, <laughs> going like, vets, doctors, vets, doctors, <laughs> vets, doctors. And then she's like, neither. <laughs> yeah, she just phones up the, uh, from a payphone. From outside, yeah. Yeah, like I travelled all this way to use a phone. Yeah, and then they basically says, "Oh, um, yeah, uh, have she lost her appetite?" And she turns to her and goes, "Can I get some food?" <laughs> and she's like, "Oh, no, <laughs> no. Like, she's no, fine, yeah. I guess." Yeah, yeah never mind. She's yeah. all good. Uh, and then Omi, Omi, Ami, Omi, Ami, Omi, Ami, Omi. I don't know. Omi. No. no. Well, that's how you pronounce the film. Omi. 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 Ah. Omi. 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 Yeah. You just ever so slowly changing it into sounding like Homi. Homie, homeboy, yeah. homeboy, homeboy, homie. home, home skillet. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, and um, he's a bit frail and weak mm -hmm. because he's always has kind of been that way. Um, and of course they've all been home births because, well, like we said, she doesn't want. Yep. And then this is how child service came in because they don't know anything about the kids. Uh, and then she was like, ah, oh, shit, I need to get out of here. Because it was a bit... She takes them a walk, and it goes in the park. And they're all kind of running around. Blah, 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 blah. And then turn into dogs. Then turn into humans. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, I think... At some point, something happens, and she feels that everyone starts looking at her. Yeah. There were presents of everyone's eyes on them. Um, yeah. But yeah, so the she says, I'm going to need to move. And then she finds, like, a, she goes out to the forest, which is... Yeah, the boonies. Uh, yeah. Uh, and the guy is selling her house and is like, oh, yeah, this house, yeah, a bit of a do or up or... Uh, everyone kind of leaves after a while. They realize they can't hack it. Yeah, uh, but it will cost you nothing practically. So yeah, and she's like, "Cool, I'll take it." And she's like, "What? Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. You don't want to oh, see yeah. any others? No, I'm no. cool. I'll get this." So she gets like a big, nice. Uh, I wouldn't say mansion, but pretty big place. It's a big place just for her and the kids. It seems. But it is, it's mm -hmm. pretty much in Tartars. Mm -hmm. so, she, so she has to build it all up. Um, and then the town folks start talking because it's a small community. And you get old, old, uh, old grandpa, what's his name? Oh, Nirisaki. Grandpa Nirisaki, who's also like the yeah. grumpy old gentleman that keeps everyone right. The town bully. <laughs> I don't know if he's he just keeps everyone uh, in line in, in line, yeah. fear 
Oh, I don't know about fear. I was just thinking it's like they're all they are all afraid of him. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure why. They seem all right. They seem down to earth. Yeah. I just, don't know. We'll we'll get to that. Uh. Yeah. So so there's people working the fields and they start talking about. Oh yeah, I'll get them. I'll give her a week. Yep. Before she so, leaves. Yeah. But she lasts for well for as long as the baby is there. So this is our yeah, new yeah. home. Yep. Uh um uh, she, so find, she, she finds she's spending too much money though, right? And that's why she ends up because she's yeah. obviously trying to do the place up. Mm. But is also, you know, keeping two kids and not working. Yeah, she's so she's got two kids not working. Uh, mm -hmm. So they're just kind of playing out in the fields, loving it, because they just run around wild and no one care about them. Yep. Uh, they always say that this farm land was bad because it's the first one in into the mountains, and so all the mm -hmm. animals from the mountains would come down and eat their food, eat the crops. Not anymore. Nope. Not that, not that, uh, not even because the the crops just don't grow either. So she was struggling. Uh, to, no, yeah, she is. She was struggling to grow crops because they went down. So oh no, that's that. Uh, I'll need to grow crops. So we we'll make her own food. So she started to grow grow some cor corps, uh, corps, crops. I mean, technically, they were corpses because yeah, <laughs> they were the corp the corpses of, of vegetables. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then Grandpa and exactly helps her out. She, you know, she goes and introduces herself and says, like, "Hi, ah, yeah, I'm I'm Hannah. I live at the house. Nice to meet you." And she has like this big stupid grin on her face. Uh, he's like, "Stop grinning. You look stupid." Yeah. And then Stop drives smiling. away. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what what I liked is this section of the movie is uh, sort of um. What's his name? Hirosaki. Is it Hirosaki? Uh, Nirosaki. Sorry. This is like his uh, targeted campaign of bullying and fear and intimidation mm -hmm. <laughs> over a, sp like a period of time where she's like trying to be really nice to him. Mm -hmm. And uh, all he does is yell at her and tell her <laughs> that she's doing it wrong and t she's stupid and that she annoys him. <laughs> Uh, and he's like, but do this better. She's like, oh, okay, yeah, I guess I'll do that. Yeah. And uh, it turns out that his his uh, rationale for it was uh, to help her to do it so that he could have more food. Yeah, yeah. So she, he comes out and basically gets her family. Oh, we'll bring the family up. Uh, here's some potatoes. Because uh, mm. we should grow this. Okay. Uh, and I do it this. Make this pick your thoroughs wider and she t basically tells her to, to make the garden and he's just like marching around the field just shouting at her like you said uh, not actually doing anything other no. than yelling at her yeah telling her how to do it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they're all saying oh he really likes you Hannah <laughs> Cause, do, you, uh, do you start to see where I'm making these like logical leaps here of like that maybe he's just a, a figure of fear to a degree uh, I mean, he gets her lots of stuff though. Like, so he got the the sea potatoes from, technically, because he told other people to give him mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Uh, the family kind of goes, "Oh wait, is that the size of your fridge? We can get you a bigger it's, it's one." It's it's a cute fridge. Here, yeah. we'll bring you another one. Yeah, and then they have like a bigger fridge. Uh, and she got a bigger fridge from that. Um. Yeah, it's, uh, he's, you know, he's never happy. And no, he's not. Doesn't treat anyone with respect, but uh, or she becomes one of the locals and she becomes part of the ecosystem there, and they're all incredibly impressed at how everything grows there when no one else has had much success, and that they've lost a lot of their food through animal predation, um, particularly due to a wild boar. I think in one inst in a few instances. Mm -hmm. uh, but nobody's doing that to 
her farm anymore, probably, uh, as it's heavily hinted at, as uh, Yuki runs, sprints past a group of them and goes, I gotta pee! And you're like, oh yeah, because they're just pissing everywhere, these wolf children. <laughs> yeah. Every animal is terrified, and all of your food is covered in wolf urine. Oh, pee, different location. Marking the, the territory. <laughs> Yeah. And they were, oh, the wolves are right here. Let's not go here. Yeah, this 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 farm is run on piss. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how accurate it is, but later in later in life, uh, they they meet a a wolf who was like held in captivity, apparently. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. there's no yeah. Nate Woods uh, wolves in Japan anymore. Just like yeah, because they they were extinct in Japan. Yeah, just like here in Britain, we hunted them to extinction. Yeah, it's true, extinct. Yeah, um, and then this comes to the second snow scene. Cause think, oh, I I I think I put. The death on a snow scene because it, it goes not only does it yeah. cut the audio it also goes quite r white yeah it, it doesn't quite snow there no i think it was just a uh, heavy downpour that's that's fair yeah this is this is where it starts to to snow i think yeah so this is the snow um itself so so they wake up one morning after fixing all the the house up Mm -hmm. And uh, see it snowing, uh, and then they jump out and go, Haha, it's snow! And then they're all having fun running through the forest with the snow. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. And then Ami, Ami, mm -hmm. uh, he, he spots a bit of prey and goes, Oh, because he's turned it's to a, it's, it's a kingfisher. It's Kingfisher, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, spots it and goes, I'm going to have that, but it's in a river. Uh, a fast flowing river. And he, he does, he gets it. And then... Then he goes in. Yeah, what happens? Does he get startled or something? Or he I think he, I think the king I think the kingfisher puts up just, not like, to, uh, like a fight, but I think it, it does distract him as he's Standing on the rock, and he sort of like falls in, yeah, yeah. And, it, and then uh, Yuki is there, and basically tells the mom, and they both go, and Yuki has pulled them out because he he gets yeah. thrown down the river and bangs his head off a rock, but Yuki's managed to mm -hmm. yank him out of the river. Uh, and Seems then... like he almost he basically almost drowns. Yeah, uh, and you know, Hannah uh, wakes him up, and he's like, "You know, I saw a kingfisher and I caught it, and that was cool." Mm -hmm. like, Wait, why am I wet? Why are you wet? Why? Why is it? Why is she wet? It's like, oh, you don't remember. Yeah, yeah, but. He, but Earlier on, like I think he gets upset because he's worried about people thinking wolves are the bad guys and everything. Yeah, because and then getting books out of the the mobile library. Yeah, that's right. And then, but in this instance, though, he seems like for the first time, like quite attuned to being a wolf and being okay with that. Mm -hmm. I think it's the kind of the epiphany moment for him is that 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 feels like home to him. That feels right. So. Mm -hmm. Um, which of course, as we were about to find out with what, uh, Yuki's next request is, is not, not really her desire as such. Yeah. Is that? I think she goes to school before that though. I think about it, we maybe jump uh, that part. Cause, uh, no, uh. No, 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 no. Yeah. The order, the the Wikipedia page is sacrosanct, and it has them. It has them. This this sentence after this other sentence. Okay. 
Yeah, so... Uh... This, this is the part where, yeah, she then goes on to say, I want to go to fucking school. Yeah. And she's like, oh, no. Yeah, because yeah, she's talking to the other kids. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she's like going, I want to go to school. And then she has like uh, some of the people from the village around and they're just sitting out in the porch. See, I swear that was like before this because it wasn't snowing. And it's warm. Mm. Uh, uh, and it's like, there's a dog. Oh, you got a dog? I didn't know you had a dog, Hannah. Oh, no. And then uh, then it disappears around the back of the house and comes in the back, and that's Yuki. Walks down, it's like, duh, 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 and yeah. then drops down. Uh, she drops down a step and goes just out of vision for where they're sitting. Yeah. And then uh Yuki appears as in her dog form or will form. Yeah. And it's oh isn't that cute? You seen got the matching outfits of uh of Yuki. She's like <laughs> No No Bad Yuki. Yeah. That's a bad Yuki. Don't, uh don't do that. And then uh, that that of that I guess incident probably Makes her the uh, Hannah realize that it's going to be difficult to keep her under control if she keeps declining her off her request. Uh, so yeah, yeah, but it doesn't convince her. She still isn't going to school. No, no. That's she's what? she's starting to realize that it's going to be more problematic. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what was convincing. I, I seem to remember, all I remember was uh, her being thoroughly unconvinced for a very long period of time, mm -hmm. followed by a conversation about, I guess you can go, but on one condition, you can't tell anyone you're a wolf. And it's like, I think I know that. I think I thought that's why we were reluctant. Did you just not want her to be educated? Was that it? Well, no, they were, she was trying to hold me here. I don't, I don't know what it's that, but like at the same time, it's like, she's trying to, like, I don't know, I think maybe she's maybe stopped being a wolf for a long time and behaved a bit better, because her mm -hmm. rebel self was not getting the reward. That That is a good point, actually, is that she does double down on positive behaviour. Mm -hmm. uh, That's uh, probably the deciding factor in the end up. Yeah, uh, and then... Um... Aye, so then, then she gets to go to school and goes, yay! And then she's it's like, oh, I thought of a around to do uh, and it's like not going to turn into a wolf all the way home not going to turn into a wolf all the way home uh, or something no, like that her mantra is be a girl all the way until all the way home be a girl all the way until home or something yeah. like that and it's like oh that's okay I'm going to be a good girl not turn into a wolf all the way home or yeah. something like that it's, Something along it, those lines. It's it's a bad a bad mantra. Uh, <laughs> either way, it seems to work for her, mm. and she slowly starts to really enjoy being around. It was the most kids she'd ever been around, and it was very de like difficult and in but interesting. And mm -hmm. her life obviously starts to uh, blossom in different ways. To Ami, who starts to get more of a focused education from his mum. Yeah, but that's mainly because he doesn't want to go. He did go to school for a bit, but he was yeah outcast. He was he was bullied. An outcast so like by I think grade three he's just stopped attending. He was always ill. Uh and then I think his mum uh Hannah got a job at the local wildlife place sanctuary yeah like on one of the touring things mm -hmm. um and yeah uh, that's right so he he got taken there and the boss man there was like ah yo and all me goes nope it's like playing hooky yep yep <laughs> oh well <laughs> he didn't really care too much is this the bit with the the captive fox, uh, captive wolf? Yes. Yeah, so where she goes for the interview, for the place, uh, 
the reason she kind of went there is because there was a captive wolf and only with her because he, he wasn't going to school at that time. He's still yeah. a bit young. Uh, and then um, uh, he they went in there and they said, oh, I need to go do something else, but here, I'll leave you here with the, the captive wolf. It's like, hi, Mr. Wilk, can you teach my kid how to be a wolf? And the wolf kind of just parked his ears and looked at him and then went, huh, what the way? And it kind of stopped looking. Uh, and then Because it's a wolf. Yeah. And then the manager comes back and goes, oh, yeah, he's he's actually just been in captivity all his life. Yeah. He's too old to be released. Aww. Uh So Omi can learn anything from him. But he goes and visits him and stares at the thing stares at the animal things in the wild uh, and starts to go up into the forest on his own. Well, yeah, they start to do tours and he starts to get more brazen and, and goes on his own mm-hmm. and then starts to talk about his sensei from the mountain. Yeah, yeah. so he, he, he goes up because uh, there's, there's, like you say, the house is kind of at the bottom of the mountain range, so he just goes up the the path, the opposite direction from the school. Yeah. Uh, which I suppose is probably uh, kind of like a, an art direction in the sense that he's going the opposite path. Yeah, it it's definitely a a, a choice, like a visual narrative mm-hmm. choice as well. Yeah, and it shows that he's going that way. I mean, it's going to sense the. Uh, and then basically tells his mum everything. It's like, oh yeah, I've seen this and we've done that and doing this and all that. And finally goes and introduces his mum to Sensei, who's is a, a wildly old fox. Is is a fox? Yeah. A literal fox? <laughs> yeah, of course. Not it a is. magical fox, just an actual fox. Yeah, but they can transform into animals and be animals. Walk with the animals, be with the animals. The the kids who can, yeah, Two the cans. kids can. But the fo- the fox, to be clear, is a fox. Uh, yeah, I, I still think all animals can technically understand each other's. I'm not, I'm not saying they can't. I'm just saying that one's just a fox. Uh, it's just a fox. Well, as far as we know. Yeah, that's true could be a special fox that we just only ever seen him as a fox mm. and he's teaching them how to hunt and stuff catch prey uh, where Yuki's slowly going through the grades and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and Grace is getting upset with Omi because Omi doesn't want to go to school because he's he wants to be a wolf and have a big mm. argument uh, which tricks the house and Yuki is beaten up by his brother. She's covered in scars and that. Much to Hannah's Is that is that at this bit? Um Yeah, it's not it's not far from this bit. I was I was just gonna, I can't remember if we uh we introduce uh So High. I think So High is It's around this bit, right? Because that, that... oh, so high might be before that because that's maybe why she's trapped in the house with him. Uh, because this new kid starts. Um, he basically comes up to her UK and goes, "Do you want a dog?" And she's like, "No, oh yeah, oh, yeah, kind of smell, smell a like, dog, smell like a fucking dog." <laughs> yeah, she's like, uh, "Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me yeah. alone, leave me alone," and he's like, "No, no, no." <laughs> No, and just follows her. Yeah, it's everywhere. Just, just walks away and like it's like, why are you find me? Do you not like me? And it's like, no, just leave me alone. I just, don't I mean, you did just call me a fucking dog, <laughs> pretty much. And that may be true, but I'm a yeah. human. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and then so basically, you get get some corner, uh, and then uh, Yuki basically rips his ear off. Yep. It turns into Wilhelm because you know when someone's cornered, something's going to happen. Oh, yeah, because she's trying to go through a door, but it's locked, and then he's like, mm-hmm. 
And then it's just like, go away. <laughs> Leave me alone. Why? Oh, I don't know. And he, apparently he's from a single mother's family too, but uh, she's she goes through husbands, as yeah. it seems. Um, Frequently. Yeah. And he's just, yeah. He's, he's... That's a thing. He's not really... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So basically, um, Hi also gets called into the principal's office mm-hmm. uh, and basically say, Oh, tell me what happened. No, um, you say sorry though. I think she does whispers and says, Oh, you say sorry she, then. She's like, You say sorry, and she does say sorry. And then the mum. Of so high is like, well, we're gonna fucking sue you into the ground. You're paying for all this shit. Fuck you. Fuck your kids. This is bullshit. And then so high is like, nah, I don't don't like the way this is going. And it's like, ah, uh, a wolf did it. A, yeah. a wolf did it. It was I didn't see it properly, but it got me. And then next thing I knew, I was bleeding. Yeah. So what? It wasn't her. So just lay off. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Um, but then Yuki obviously stays away from school because obviously everyone starts talking. She comes back to class and everyone's like, oh, they said it was a wolf. Yuki was with her. Oh, and this rumor mill. And then she's like, nope, I'm going. She comes yeah. into one door and then out the, out the other door of the classroom. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Uh, and gets into the car, and then it's very Grandpa Simpson coming into the the, <laughs> the hat off and onto yeah. the hook, and then like oh, oh, and then away we go again. Yeah, oh, uh, hat gone. Yeah, yeah. What what was it like? Uh, Notice Bart standing there. Hi, Grub. <laughs> nope, Bart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Classic. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so and then she stays away from home and. Then, she gets into conversation with uh, Omi about the whole thing, and it's like, oh, you should just be a wolf. It's simpler. You should just go to school. No, I don't want to go to school. I want to be a wolf. I'll be your human. I'm not. I'm a wolf. Because yep. there was some point earlier in the movie, Hannah asked him, what would you rather be, human or a wolf? I believe... Mm-hmm. Was well, a question that's possibly once they get into the the mountain threat. Yeah, it is, yeah. And basically, I don't think they had the answer because they were too young. And she just thought, oh, well, it's going to be fun to find out. What was that from? It's something. I, I think the other thing is, is that we also see it in their natures mm. originally that they're sort of opposite. Where they start, mm. she seems much more engaged with just jumping in and out of being a wolf and like engaged in that mm-hmm. and he seems far more apprehensive and concerned about what that means um which of course it's not that she becomes more apprehensive about being a wolf i mean i guess she does to a degree due to what happens but uh she actually just cares more about being a human mm-hmm. whereas for ami it's more about like him embracing the idea of like what being a wolf is to him yeah yeah the he feels like he's probably alone in the world from his interactions mm-hmm. with the humans. So being a wolf would be more of a alone, a lone wolf. A lone wolf. Boom. There you go. That's that. Where she's a yeah. lot more social and mm-hmm. has lots mm-hmm. of friends and stuff. Or she, she was first when she was making friends, she was like, oh, look, look what I got in my box. Dead birds. And they were oh, yeah, like, oh, right. oh, and then she just realized, oh, wait, no one really is like that stuff. No one no one wants you to do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. And here's all these bugs and snakes. Ah. Yeah, no, they don't want that either. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. But, I mean, I suppose that's still technically a human child thing to do, not Billy Wolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I don't have any kids. Um, I, I mean, I imagine kids have done that in the past. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, they get into the fight and have a big argument. Um, and then and uh, So High has been coming to the house basically 
mm -hmm. in there. Oh, I'm sorry. Blah blah blah. Um, I was like, oh, uh, yeah, here. Oh, here, have a have a drink. Because you know we keep coming out this way, which is not about. It's like okay, and they get talking, uh, and then they come best of buds. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I think there's a big storm. Is this uh, well? There's a, a there's a bunch of time passes. It's like a few yeah. years later at this point, and yeah, like he's Yuki uh, is like desperate to get to school. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Ami's like, don't go today. I don't think it's a good idea. And she's like, uh, I'm going to go. Bye. Yeah. Oh. There's not like a, a scene where Hannah gets scared that Omi is too young. And oh, to basically... Leave? Yeah, to a grandson. Uh, that's the. I'm pretty sure that's the next bit. Oh, cause where's like I have, where's I have to go, and he's like, she's like, no, like absolutely not. No, no, some time passes because it's another one of these like more and more time, and he's like, I banned you from going up into the mountain because he does something. Because huh. she was like scared for him to leave. He said, No, he can't he can't be doing that uh anymore. And then it's leading up to this point where he's like hold back because of his mother's mother's wishes, of Han's mm -hmm. wishes. Uh but he knows that the storm's coming and it's gonna hit because animals sense this stuff. Uh yeah. It seems. And um Tells you to stay because he's like, oh, I'm going to need to go up and help the Sensei because he's old, and, uh, fragile. Uh, oh, wait. It's because does he not find out that the his Sensei broke his leg? Yeah, at a certain point, and was that not what caused the whole grounding thing? Because he was saying, he's because he was saying, I need to replace him. Yeah, I need to like I need to be the one that that, took, that looks after the mountain once he's gone. And she's like, Ah, no, nah, you're not even ten, <laughs> yeah. dude. No, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, we're not we're not Pokemoning this. I'm not sending you out into the world as a ten year old to just deal with stuff. Thanks. Yeah, not gonna happen. Yeah, uh, and then. Yes. Anyway, so the storm come is coming in, and it's like, mm -hmm. oh, it's going to hit like in the evening. It's fine, but then oh, it hits uh, while they're at school. Yeah. Um, and so they they kind of gather the kids all together in like the gym hall, mm -hmm. and have arranged for their parents to come and get them, like a place for their parents to come and get them, basically all in that one place. Yeah. Um, and Hannah is like, hey, uh. Do you want to come with me when we go and get your sister? Oh, you're gone. Fuck. Yeah. And then Hannah runs up the mountain chasing Astro because she kind of sees him to a degree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it caught, uh, she gets a, a nice adventure in the wilds where she ends up slipping down a bit and <laughs> hits some trees and stuff and then calls yeah. out, sees the bears. Uh, you think a bear is about to maul her and yeah. destroy her, and it's like, nope, no, okay, it's just with her, with the bears, with the kids. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Let's just move on from this quickly. Yeah. And then she just passes out, face up in the rain. Yeah, because she falls down. Ah, oh, she takes a big tumble. It's like um, mm -hmm. it's like hot rod. <laughs> you ever watch yeah. the movie hot rod where they just like he just like yeah. he's doing his angry dance in the forest and he jumps over this log too hard, hard and. Just like rolls down the entire mountainside. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, she kind of does that. <laughs> and then she's, yeah, unconscious. And then all the other kids are getting taken away from school. Mm -hmm. uh, UK show is 
uh, Sophie that she is actually a wolf. And he says, "Oh, I can't do that." Oh yeah, because they're they're basically like the the two the only two kids left in school at this point. Yeah, because yeah. everyone else has been to the other. His mum's not coming to pick him up because she doesn't care anymore. It seems almost because she's got remarried and is about to have another baby. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, Yuki is. Uh, well, Hannah is obviously preoccupied with being unconscious in the forest. So. Yeah, uh, and uh, Sohei, so you can Sohei kind of run about, run away from the school. He was, he went away to get some cards. He said, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then it's like it's been a while. Why was that taking them? So she goes and finds them. It's like, and he's just kind of dozing on the desk. Mm -hmm. I like, oh, thought you had to get some cards. Oh yeah, and, and then the wind's gusting through the thing, and the curtains kind of. Uh, dash and, and she's like, oh, well, here, this is, it was me. It did that yep. to your ear. I, I wolfed your ear. Yeah. Uh, he's like, uh, yeah, it's cool. I know. Um, And then they start talking about living in school forever together. Mm -hmm. uh, Nobody comes to get them. Yeah. I'm dodging the, the, the chatter looking with the torch. Yeah. Uh um and that and then uh I think Omi oh, Yeah uh, H Hannah kind of comes to a little bit mm -hmm. in her stupor and somebody is picking her up mm -hmm. and is, is transporting her to the exit to the mountain. Um, and yet, it it turns out that his army has transformed back into human form to help place her down, and then basically just leaves her in a car park. Yeah, in a car park. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Gentle oh. child. Yeah, he's he's with one with the wildlife. Uh, you yeah. should also note that uh, Hannah has. Has these uh, kind of reoccurring dreams where she sees the father mm -hmm. in a field. I think first time when he's died. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and then that time when she's done that. Is, is there three of them? I think so. The, the last time is that time where, you know, she's happy to see him. And then he asks about the, they kind of get talking about the kids. And then she's like, oh, wait, I came out here to find Ami, he ran away and I don't think I found him. Yeah. And uh, I think that the dad makes some sort of comment about having found himself. Hmm. He's found himself. I think the other time was when uh, basically they're going to go into the uh, move into the countryside. I think mm -hmm. there might be a dream mm -hmm. about that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the other so... one might be after the fight in the house. Because his license plate gets his license, his driving license gets knocked off the stand during that whole fight scene. Yeah. With the two kids. Well, there's a lot of things that not to mention that fight scene. Mm, that's true. Um, right, true. Yeah, so she's down in the car park. Uh, I think it's uh, after the storm has kind of passed. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she gets. Yuki finds her, or she gets, she looks up and sees Omi running up the hill as a wolf. She looks up and t shouts, sees him walking away, and she asks him to stop. And she re kind of realizes that he's not gonna, cause this is the thing he has to do. Mm -hmm. So he transforms into his wolf form and just runs up the mountain Yeah, as she watches him leave. And he's like, uh, yeah, well I suppose 10 year olds for a wolf is quite old. I think is her yeah. realisation of it. Yeah. Uh, and then Yuki's there, she's graduating to go to high school, which is further away. So she mm -hmm. lives in a dorm, I believe. Yep. At the new school that she moves to. Which leaves Hannah on her own. Yeah, in the house. In the house, but, but happy and alone in the yeah. house. Because 
obviously she's managed to successfully raise two kids to two different places yeah in life um and i think we kind of hear the the wolves of uh the howl of ame echoing from the mountains yeah so he's always he's always close even if she doesn't see him yeah yeah uh and then okay and there's like she's lived there all her life yeah it's i would say this story is very sweet without being saccharine okay like it is uh which is a good thing like i'm i'm glad it doesn't cut it's not aggressively twee or uh you know just just uh, <laughs> levels of 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 sweet um mm -hmm. it looks gorgeous yeah yeah i like, only got on it, dvd so but it's a weird okay. it's a weird uh art style because you have these like very painterly backgrounds mm -hmm. with these less detailed characters on top yeah. of them yep uh and it, it but it doesn't look out of place not even close uh it just it yeah it's it's lovely i really i enjoyed my time with this movie yeah two, hour, movie. two hours went by quite quickly that's good it's emotional heart heart robin yeah yeah it's uh it, it is it's it's very good it's very good I, I must admit, though, I watched it and then I'm thinking, I might watch this with my kids after I've had a watch through it. And I was watching bits and I'm like, ah, oh, they're not going to like that. Ah, oh, they're not going to like that. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. I won't watch this with them just yet. Oh. They're not uh, huge fans of, like, animal documentaries and watching other animals get hurt, so there's a few scenes of that in this that they may not enjoy particularly. Well, I like... So like, uh, don't like animals hunting other animals. Yeah, they're not not huge fans of that. Uh... They they understand it, uh -huh. but they don't like to look at it. Uh... I, I get that. I get that. They're not my favorite parts of the movie. No, I mean, but, not... you know, they happen. They're not. Yeah, I mean, they're they're, they're all, like not all the way there. You know, it's just like little snipers of like, oh, these are wolves. Yeah, wolves will hunt. I, I I think it's a, it's one of those ones where um, it, it's a movie that I could probably show someone that doesn't like animation, and they would kind of go, oh, that was that was good. Like I yeah. enjoyed that. Yeah, like I, I, I know that we spoke about like uh, I said to my wife it was like, oh, you should watch the world, the words bubble up like soda pop, uh -huh. and she was like, nah, do no thanks, I don't really fancy that. And she's like, she likes animation, but she likes Disney, she likes Pixar, and she likes Ghibli, and yeah. probably not much else. Um, but I put it on of an afternoon, and her and both my kids sat and watched all of it. Yeah. You're like, yep. Yeah. yeah, that movie will do that. It's, it's real good. Yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah, no, so I, it's yeah, yeah, it's really well done. I think, um, so I got the DVD. It's got like a bonus bits in it. And I think mm -hmm. the the reason behind making it was to show show the struggles of a single parent. Mm -hmm. Totally. Uh, uh, but also they've made it about a single parent with like magical kids. Well, I think like uh, but it, it doesn't it, really take away from that. It still would be a normal kind of close enough re representation of raising kids, uh, even if they didn't turn into wolves. I think totally like like not like it doesn't feel. Um, it, it's one of those things as well where like I know that like. Studio Ghibli have obviously set the standard for like films that are accepted in the West that come from Japan, basically. Like that's yeah. that's who makes the movies that people will go to watch. But 
I think there is something to it when, like, this has elements of those for me. Mm -hmm. It has that kind of the, the 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 whimsical nature of it, the the merging of like contemporary Japanese culture with with the past and mm -hmm. like nature and magic, and like I I think that um that's often eastern storytelling at its best like it just it, it's it's fascinating um because mm. it's so different I, I like i was saying that to my wife as well when we were watching like attack on titan i'm like i don't think you would find a story like this coming from the west and that's not like being derogatory to people who are you know writing stories and things like that in, in the west it's just that i think there's different heritages and culture will obviously inherently drive you towards creating different things in different ways and i think that's so often why i find anime and manga so interesting when i get like kind of bored of the tropes and standards that come from western stuff it's like mm -hmm. it was the same for like eastern horror that took over for a while for me where it was like this is everything now because it's so new it's such a different approach mm -hmm. the stories are different the the, the cinematography is different the music the acting and it's like this is cool it's great to see something that's just so unusual to me yeah. so, so talking about, talk about horror mm. your t-shirt you're wearing yes is that the tethered bunch yeah what's that it's uh it's uh uh brady bunch cross us, us. t-shirt yeah yeah i thought it was us or out there i or... i love loved us that's it was... that's when we went and watching the movie in the cinema yeah yeah that was that was really good whereas the other the the doppelganger family appears and kills him <laughs> as a premise set up it's pretty good yeah like hey there's a family in a house and then a bunch of people come try to get into their house mm -hmm. the other people that try to get into their house are also them yeah like yeah. that's so you're like oh wow cool. okay sure yeah sure yeah, yeah. So it's a good start um yeah yeah though no, i think this movie is pretty good it's straight to pg how, how do you rate it yourself like out of 10 then not PG. Not PG. No. PG-13? Sure. sure. PG-13 out of 10. Yeah, PG-13 out of 10. Um, I enjoy it. I'm actually kind of happy mm. that I bought it. I kind of bought it after watching Summer Wars. and I love kind of mm -hmm. Summer Wars. Summer Wars is a good, fun movie. Uh, mm -hmm. Same guy. Directed it. Different kind of premise. Not as heartfelt and um yeah well i've watched it a few times now so that's a good sign um i'll give it a, yeah, yeah. a nine i like a nine nice yeah i think i think i'm an eight yeah I was... just on the scale like I, I i like i think it's it's really good mm. and it is imminently rewatchable like mm. i could rewatch that quite easily and lose two hours no problem it would be very easy. Um, but I started to weigh up against some of the other ones we've done. If I, if I think about like the movies we've watched in a similar vein of mm. not, I guess like not that Tokyo Godfather's in a similar vein, but you know, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it, it was a, a kind of non Ghibli story. Mm -hmm. And, and to me, like, I think Tokyo Godfathers is it's an it's I think it's a ten all day, like that movie is absolutely exceptional. Mm -hmm. um, and then I thought about Suzume was the other one that immediately came to mind. It was like that is another, you know, uh, director who I've watched. We watched Your Name again, yeah. another movie where I was like, oh, I really enjoyed that movie. Mm -hmm. uh, same same person that did Suzume. Yeah, and it was like okay, so there's a lineage outside of uh, that for me, where I was like, how am I, how am I, how am I ranking this up? 
and it, it close to a nine, but still an eight, but also yeah. still really good. And like I will say, as always, like the musical score is absolutely exceptional. Um, yeah, I was just blown away by it the whole time. Uh, and that that person has done music for um the game a few movies anyway uh in fact the boy and the beast mm-hmm. and which mirai is which is the most recent one. Oh, is that is it his most recent one from that director yeah i believe so and it says that he also wrote the music for the studio ghibli documentary oh wow which yes. i have not watched the king the kingdom of dreams i, I keep often i keep meaning to watch that is that the one that's on netflix now I don't know. It's it's Let's... the te- it's ten years old. Oh yes, no. it is. It was added to Netflix. Yeah, yeah. it's what's his name? A uh, documentary about him, isn't it? Uh Hayao Miyazaki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... It's the it's the one where the the quote for the quote of uh, burn out to hell. Some days I realize my work is terrible. And that I'm incredibly stupid, or something like that. Like Miyazaki is just such a harsh critic of his own work. Oh, yeah, these people can can be. So I would just say that when I said nine, I was close to an eight myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was like, is it an eight or is it a nine? But I like it. I bought it. I want it. The thing is. I, I could totally like I would also be quite happy to own it, and I may do that. Like I, I think like this is one of these films that, like I know my wife grew up uh, in on like Sunday afternoons watching like old um, French movies with my father in law. So like uh, Jacques Tati and things like that were very commonly watched, or like old black and white films, so Cary Grant and and things like that. So yeah, uh, but for me like. I could see myself like in 10, 20 years sitting of an afternoon and watching like a, a Wolf Children or a Suzume or a Ghibli film, you know, like a Howl's Moving Castle. Like I, I could, I could definitely be that person. So yeah, yeah I, I, it, it, if I'm to take it and like place it in how I would want to experience it for me, it's that kind of thing. It's a, a Sunday afternoon post lunch it's raining outside type of movie just i'm gonna i'm gonna sit back and enjoy this for for the afternoon it's absolutely one of those which is is great yeah good movie uh should yeah. do summer of war soon too yeah i I'd, I'd like to watch actually his other stuff generally yeah. um i'd be pretty keen to to take a look yeah. uh because there's a, was it the beast the beast and the boy you said was also yeah I saw that on the boy some, and the beast yeah some streaming service oh that one part. actually he's done another one more recently called Bell which I actually seem to remember the poster for Bell has that not been in cinemas it might have been actually yeah yeah. I have to take a look at his stuff. Yeah, he's, uh, he's... yeah. <laughs> That's not a look of like okay. I recognize that. <laughs> I was just trying to see if I could recognize any of the names and the the English voice cast, but I don't recognize anyone. No. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like I'm glad you suggested this. It was good. Yeah, it's a good movie. Good. Wholesome family movie, time for Christmas. Yeah, absolutely. And that's uh, not our Christmas special, that's next <clears throat> week. In between choking, <laughs> you're correct. Uh, next week will be our Christmas special where we'll be doing our um, tier ranking of all the different shows that we've, that watched, we've watched on this yep. podcast. I think it's it, it's bound to be an interesting lesson with full of definitely interesting conversations. Um, one thing before we kind of get into the usual heading outro, I mm-hmm. 
I don't know if you know this, but they made the uh, Golden Globe announcements for the nominations. No, I don't pay attention to that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I only saw it in passing, but I thought this was really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, best motion picture animated. And on that, you have the kind of standard things. You have the Disney's, so you have Elemental, you have oh, yeah. Wish. You're like, okay. Oh, you have. Can oh, I go on. Can I talk about Elemental? Mm -hmm. So when I went to Canada this year mm -hmm. on a Lee holiday, uh, and I was watching TV, and they got the movie trailers come up, and every movie trailer stated it was the best in something. Uh, Elemental, mm -hmm. I think, was like the best animated movie you'll see this year. And then you had like another movie that came out. It's like this is the best this thing of every year. And it's just, like uh, one after the other. And this pretty much just like they say someone like the this is the best movie it shows uh flames this year. Oh. And stuff like that. You know, it was just like just random stuff. It's just when you said elemental, I was like, Yeah, I remember. Yeah. That. I mean, Ele and Elemental was was fine. Like, I don't want to disparage it. I enjoyed watching it. It mm -hmm. was it was good. Uh, it's, but you've got your Disney's, of course. Um, mm -hmm. You have the Super Mario Brothers movie. I think like that's fair. I feel mm -hmm. like it it was good enough. I thought it was fun, and yeah, it's probably worth looking at. You have, I think, out of those three, not a winner in there, in my opinion. Uh -huh. um, however. I think where it gets really interesting is the remaining uh, nominations, huh? which is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, which yeah. is one of the most visually stunning pieces of cinema I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, that's the, the sequel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have The Boy and the Heron, the new Miyazaki film that's now coming in at like 96, 97% on Rotten Tomatoes. And it's like, yep, this is absolute right. genius, apparently. Oh, it's, it's coming out after the holidays here, isn't it? I think like so. Christmas, yeah. Yeah. And then the other nomination is Suzume. I was like, another movie that I was like, man. I haven't seen the boy in a hair, uh, the boy in the heron, but I I know I'll enjoy it. Like I I just know that straight away. Mm -hmm. Um, but man, between that, Suzume and Spider Man Across the Spider Verse, it's like that's that's a choice. I don't think I'd be willing to make. I know. I when I, when I was in Canada, <laughs> I met a guy. Who apparently, did the. Uh... Did some work on the Spider-Man movie. Oh, nice! That's cool. Yeah, like um, brother-in-law to my cousin. Nice. Uh, and um, yeah, he did like the, the framework where he was doing the bits to kind of like make it all. So he did the fancy animations, and then he kind of makes it mm -hmm. kind of look like proper. Animations, I think, bits of it. Uh, Have you seen the set, the second one? You've seen across the Spider Verse? Not yet. Oh man, it's like I know, I know it's a it's a two a two part, so I might just wait until the third one comes out. Well, let me tell you something, right? Uh huh. Uh, I remember watching the first one mm -hmm. and being like, "That was good," and then I remember sitting with both my kids and watching it again and being like. That was actually exceptional. Like, I don't know why I didn't like click on that straight away, but this is like, this movie is something special. Mm -hmm. And then they, they I heard is like, oh, and they're gonna do two sequels, and I was like, man, you don't need to do any sequels to this movie. You're just gonna draw it out, and it's gonna be no good, and it just feels like a cash grab. And I just don't have any faith that this is gonna be a good thing. Yeah. And I remember going to the cinema and being like, holy shit, that might be one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. It was oh. every oh. every single frame of it could be a screensaver. 
Yeah. Like the the audio, the music design, the deliveries from the performances, everything is just so spot on in a way that it's it's like proper lightning in a bottle that they have managed to go we ha- we captured lightning in a bottle what we're going to do is try it again but we did it a little bit better and you're like how do you do that a little bit better <laughs> and it's, yeah. and i'm now eagerly anticipating the last one but what i hope they do when they release the last one is i hope they do all three movies back to back in the cinemas because i'd love to do that yeah that may be pretty cool i don't know how many kids will be able to start be able to do that though well, um, my my four year old sat for the second one and did not go to the bathroom, did not move from his seat for two hours and twenty five minutes. Wow, he was fixated on the movie the entire time, and we have we have since watched it four times <laughs> after that in its entirety. Wow, was um. Yeah, I I I know the other people went to see it. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I don't think they had the same Raven reviews as yourself. That's but, fair. Like I I think that's it. Is like I totally get why people they, they liked it. People might not, but they don't like it. Like in the same way, is it? Say I I think they still think the first one is better because yep, it was the first. I suppose. And that's, I think that's the thing for me is I think I went in with such low expectation. And actually, yeah. I watched the first trailer of it and I was like, I don't like this trailer. I don't think this trailer is very good. I'm pretty sure and you then, were kind of against it when all that thing got announced. And it was like, oh, yeah. no. And then you were like, now you're like, oh, man, it's like the best thing since. Yep. And then, and then they throw all these other movies in and it's like, ah, oh, well, actually, that's not, mm, that's, that's tough competition from. Like, I I think uh, that out of any of those, I would feel of any three of those movies, I haven't obviously seen The Boy and the Heron, but I I I know I'll like it. But the other two, like between Spider Man and Suzume, either of those winning that, I would be upset that the other did not. <laughs> so, it's really there's no there's no winning in that category. That it is it, it just goes to show like 2023 was an unprecedentedly incredible year for animated cinema because looking at that as well it's like there's disney have two entries in that and i have no feeling for them oh like was i like disney isn't the isn't wish it's not like the one that people are saying ai end up writing some of the stuff in it i don't know it's a catastrophic flop as far as disney are concerned from what i understand and elemental didn't deliver either um Mm -hmm. But it, it, to me, it's just like, I, I, the last movie that Disney did that really made me interested was Moana. Moana was fantastic. Like Moana for me, almost uh, supplanted my personal favorites. <laughs> it was so good. Is that like, the, that's the rock one, isn't it? Yeah. Like it's, yeah. the music and everything is just, it's great. It's just a great movie, mm-hmm. uh, like start to finish. And um but if i like again it's one of those things where like i love disney and i have nothing against them but their quality has been inconsistent at best they've got too big for their boots and money grabbing at the moment I, I like feel. It, it's tough i get like you you have a lot to follow up on and you you know well, you try to release more stuff yeah they keep kind of like going oh this is this is profitable we'll take that property well this property we'll take that property oh and we're going to continue it i mean like for example marvel in the sense i once the end game happened i was like yeah that's 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 the end of that that that." and then they tried to continue it and then like yeah my wife and i were talking about that the other night now we were saying is like when was the last marvel movie you were excited for and i was like it was the spider-man the third spider-man movie <laughs> yeah and that that's not quite disney that's that's sony controlled and yeah technically that... its own own thing it's just that they say to include it into the marvel universe when was the last marvel movie i watched that i thought was anyway decent it was 
Gal- Guardians of the Galaxy 3 was okay. Yeah. I like Guardians of the Galaxy 3. It was it was enjoyable. Yeah, and um it it fitted in with the It was good. It was a good story for Rocket, and I, it's a good. Was that the like they all kind of go their separate ways? Chris Pratt went home at the end. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went right. to see his dad. Um, uh, or his uncle or his grandpa. <clears throat> or... Some, were... Yeah, his grandpa maybe. Yeah, his grandpa. His grandpa. Yeah, went to see him after all these years. Uh, and they're just then Rocket becomes the leader of the the Guardians. Mm-hmm. That's good. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna need to end this before I die. I'm gonna start choking. I'm coughing more and more and more, and I'm <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So, TLDR was movie very good, like very enjoyable. Mm-hmm. I would. Big big recommend, I think, from both of us. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um and you've obviously been listening to the podcast Who's That Who's That Anime? That's it, isn't it? Who's that anime? Who's that yeah. anime? I said yeah. it. Uh uh you can listen to us basically where you can find podcasts. We're we're everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um our home is at anchor.fm forward slash who's that anime. Um we don't make any money or anything from this show, but if you want to support us in any way you can, um, leaving a review would be super cool. If you've already left a review or can't leave a review, then mm-hmm. um, telling a friend uh, about the show is another way to help out. Uh, we have a Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash who's that anime, where we mm-hmm. post the latest episode releases and anime memes. Uh, we have a Discord group a channel that is uh linked in the show notes uh we have a youtube channel youtube.com for uh, and if you look search for at who's that anime this is where colin painstakingly puts for uh, puts together the video versions of these episodes mm-hmm. in this instance the one you'll see me coughing myself to death in mm-hmm. um we are also available on podcast there now too so that seems to be available there Mm-hmm. That the video upload, the audio upload was fine this week, so I don't know what happened the last time where it decided to upload privately, but yeah, yeah, there you go, working fine. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. we also occasionally like play video games. Uh, mm-hmm. Colin at twitch.tv forward slash couchfuel and myself at twitch.tv forward slash hail payment, and you can find the archives of any of the streams that we've done there mm-hmm. uh, on youtube.com. By searching for at Couchfuel or at Hail Payment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so that's it. That's uh, the end of the show, yeah. folks. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, tune in next week for a Christmas special where we get to rate ourselves or the things yeah. that we watched in the good old tier list. Yep. Uh, uh, and then the f- New Year special will be the same. But with bonus episodes. So this will be included. Yeah. Where are we going to rate this one? Hmm. Where are we going to rate this one? Hey, folks. There we go. Uh, we'll catch we'll you uh, same amount of times, same amount of place, same choking time. Bye. Thank you, Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, my God. <laughs>